Today on the channel, we take a trip back in time to the land of Jack's Ruthless Aggression with Rey Mysterio, Nunzio, and Kenny Dykstra. The spirit of the warrior will run forever! Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another Jack's Throwback Ruthless Aggression unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got three Ruthless Aggression figures in Rey Mysterio Jr., Kenny Dykstra, and Nunzio. But for all your modern day wrestling figure needs, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And as you guys know, I love myself some Ruthless Aggression figures. And I have a whole stockpile of these on card that I'm slowly working my way through. So every once in a blue moon, we do do an unboxing like this. And I grab these three. And I don't know. There's no really rhyme or reason why these guys go together besides their packaging is very similar. I guess we'll call it. With that but let's kick it off let's start in order and we're gonna go to series 28 of ruthless aggression we're gonna go to kenny dykstra and kenny dykstra one of those guys uh that was very very young when he first came to the wwe there was very very high expectations for him we gotta admit that that didn't quite work out so well but he did get a quite a few ruthless aggression figures maybe four in total five actually deluxe aggression something like that so we could maybe do a kenny dykstra top five on the channel one of these days probably not but very cool, and a lot of people do remember him and his head sculpt because a lot of people took the heads off this one to make custom Owen Hart figures. So Kenny Dykstra kind of known as uh, the sacrificial lamb for Owen Hart customs all across the land, really. Uh, but very cool packaging here. Ruthless Gresham at the top, WWE logo, got his name right there. Got the big cross cell on the back. That was one thing about Jax, always be promoting. They were always promoting their other lines and things. Uh, we got the rest of Series 28, Mr. McMahon, Vince McMahon, a very strong figure. Early vision of Miz, got Tori Wilson, you got Rey Mysterio, of course, Victoria, Kenny Dykstra, and you got Super Crazy, another awesome one there. So very diverse lineup, very cool lineup right there. They're also promoting ECW Series 2, Kelly Kelly, Ariel, B. Mahoney, don't call him balls, he's B. Mahoney. You got Bobby Lashley, Mike Knox, Elijah Burke, and Joey Styles. So some really cool stuff in those sets as well. Oh boy, without further ado, let's get old Dykstra out of the package here. See what's going on, see what all the fuss is about is where you're falling off the card right here. There it is, see you later, see you later, goodbye, goodbye, see you later. And Plastic Prison. There it is, right there. And we're going to pop him out. And then we do get his accessory here up high. See you later over the top. Uh, we do get the old fabled black chair. And there's always a story time with these Jacks unboxes, as you guys have known over the last couple of years. Uh, but unfortunately, in this instance, no story. No story with this black chair. I will say I heard Kenny Dykstra, and somebody can fact check this if they want. I did hear he did request a meeting with Jeremy Padauer. It was not granted, so we had to talk to his secretary, I believe. And he did say, hey, I know you like to throw chairs in here. Is there any way I could get a pink chair? And they just never called him back, never did anything. They stuck just a normal black chair in there. So that was the story of the chair. Not really much of a story, uh, but it would have been nice to if he could have got his way and got a pink chair to make himself feel really different. Instead, you just got the old paint by numbers. Black chair is what it is. So there you go. The old black chair for Kenny Dykstra. Now we get old Kenny Dykstra out of the package. We got a little plastic falling off of him. We got a little bit of that Jack Sticky disease on the knee pads. That's always unfortunate. We've talked about that many, many times over the years. Uh, but a very, very cool one. And there's something special. Even if you don't like your Ruthless Aggression style figures, even if you're not a fan of these, have you ever opened one up? And there's something to be said about opening up a fresh Jack's Ruthless Aggression style figure. They just feel different. Obviously, you go to a toy store, antique mall, whatever. You see loose ones of these all the time. The arms are flailing around. They're broken. They're scuffed up. Things like that. There's something special about getting one of these guys right out of the package brand new. I'll tell you what. But very, very cool. And I still think the head sculpts on a lot of these jacks hold up. And some of the time, they even beat Mattel. And that should not ever happen because we're like 15 years past of these guys coming out. So uh, there's some stuff from 15 years ago that I put right up above Mattel even at this point. I know it's a hot take, but it's the truth if you look yourself in the mirror. Uh, and this Kenny Dykstra is pretty cool. I love the big pouty lip on him. Uh, it just looks very, very strange. It looks very, very different. And like I said, a lot of Owen Hart customs out of this one. We do get the 
sculpted in headband on him as well. Beautiful hair sculpt. They always did a fabulous job sculpted in the hair on these Jax figures as well. You do get arms go all the way around. You do get a bicep cut. Single jointed elbows. Hands back and forth. Waist articulation. Legs up. Bend at the knee. Ankle articulation, and that is it. But we always got to say you can't look at these with a Mattel lens. You got to go back to the time these were released. These were cutting edge, cutting edge, state of the art figures for the time. Same thing's going to happen when 20 years ago or 20 years from now we look at Mattel and say, ooh, these are out of date, stuff like that. Heck, you go to the first series of Mattel compared to right now. Look at the changes there. That's the way it goes. That's just father time, and he does no jobs for anybody, as we always hear out there. But good articulation for the time on this one. Uh, you got the KD on the trunks looking really good. Black boots, black sticky knee pads. I don't like that. That's the worst thing there. I do love the fist. Always love a fist on a Ruthless Aggression figure. That does look good. But it's definitely Kenny Dykstra. One of the better Kenny Dykstras. I think we got one in blue that was a UK only. One of the rarest Ruthless Aggression figures. But as we always say, rarity doesn't always mean a lot of money. That's the case with the Kenny Dykstra UK one. Uh, didn't we get a pink one of him as well? That might have been the Deluxe Aggression. Uh, but We've got a few of them. And of course, the Spirit Squad Edition, things like that. But a very, very good looking Kenny Dykstra. This does hold up, and he's got a place in my collection going forward. So there it is. There's old Kenny Dykstra. Now we move our attention over to Rey Mysterio. Still going strong in the WWE as of filming right now. Him and Dominic headed for a clash, most likely at WrestleMania, I would have to imagine. And I'm actually filming this on Christmas Day where poor Dominic just got thrown in jail. Can you believe that? Some of you guys are going to be watching this six months later saying, wow, this is an old video. Well, not really. I get ahead on these things for Patreon. You guys know how that goes, you Patreon members. There's old Rey Mysterio right there. Uh, this is kind of fatter, later version Rey. I never was a big fan of this uh, mold for Rey Mysterio, but it is what it is. We got quite a few of them looking like this. This is Series 33, one of the greatest series ever because of Jose Canseco, Larry Bird, Patrick Ewing. So many greats wore the number 33, of course. Rey Mysterio, WWE, Rey in there. Briefcase, you got Ruthless Aggression, you got the Glamour Shot, all that kind of stuff. On the back, all the big cross cells going on. And I got to say, this is an interesting one here. As it looks like some kid or some collector, I don't know who it would be, but they use this as a little bit of a checklist here. And they checked off each guy as they got them. So that's very funny. But whoever this collector is, they did not pull the trigger. They have not got Candace Michelle yet. And they have not gotten John Cena. So it's very interesting. If you're going to keep these on card, why would you be crossing these off as it would devalue the card? Uh, and then if you're going to open it, I could see it. So that's a little interesting here. But this is Series 33, and the Rey Mysterio is totally different than what is shown on the back of the package. And that's one of the things we saw a lot in the Classic Superstars line, if you're following along the Classic Superstars videos every single Tuesday on the channel. But you got Rey in more of like snowflake type pants, where you got more traditional pants on the actual figure here. So very interesting there. CM Punk, a fabulous figure. That Molina figure is a game changer. That is probably her best figure. Uh, you got Triple H, Randy Orton, Candice Michelle, John Cena. Then they're promoting Adrenaline Series 29, a fabulous fabulous set here always loved basketball mvp with matt hardy you got the miz and layla the easy pass of the bunch and then cody rhodes and dusty rhodes an absolutely fabulous two-pack a really really good one there love that modern take on dusty rhodes at the time but now let's get old ray out of the package see what's going on with old ray jr let's see what's happening here see you later goodbye and there he is in the old plastic prison got his briefcase and i believe this briefcase somebody can fact check this if they want See you later. But I believe this briefcase used to carry around Dominic's, yes, that Dominic, uh, his birth certificate. He used to carry that around very proudly to say, no, no, I am the father. See, it says it right here. Uh, and it also doubled as his cell phone holder, his notebook holder, and his file folder. So we got a little of that. This briefcase we saw quite a few times in the jacks, but not as much as the chair, things like that. But interesting to get this with Ray. But of course, if you're going to have a ladder match, this might work uh, back in the day. So we do get a black briefcase with Ray. Then we get the kind of, I always call this the fat Rey Mysterio. It's just very big. Of course, Rey, I believe, was pretty heavy on the steroids during this time as he had that puffed up steroid look going on to him. But definitely looks like Rey Mysterio. You hand this to anybody, they're going to say, oh, there's Rey Mysterio. Uh, but looking good. He's got the 619 on the pants. Got the Aztec kind of symbol going on on that side of the pants. Got, of course, the decorative mask that always looks really good. Got his white gloves. Then you got all the tattoos going on with Rey. Uh, you got the Mexican on the stomach and all the other ones. So you got the Aaliyah tattoo. This might have been before that. 
Oh, no, it's on there. Yeah, he's got Dominic and Aaliyah right there on the side, so he just have both of those. He's got the big back piece tattoo, which I always like that Jax put this on because as most people would say, oh, that's so Jax, they would leave that off. Well, they put the details in there. Of course, articulation going to be the exact same as Kenny Dykstra, so not a lot to write home about there. But a good-looking Ray. I love the fist on him. Love the open hand. A good-looking figure. It's just not my favorite version of Rey Mysterio as far as body type molds. I always thought this one looked a little funky to me. I like the much skinnier versions. But to each their own, as we always do say. But there's Rey Mysterio going over there with Kenny Dykstra. Now we finish it off with the great Nunzio, the member of the FBI, stealing a lot of hearts in the old ECW days. Absolutely loved Nunzio and the FBI when I was a kid watching the ECW. Absolutely loved them. I was very excited when he came over to the WWE. Didn't really go real far over there, as you can imagine, but it was cool that we got some figures of him, non-ECW figures, and who's fooling, though? You could always put an FBI shirt on him. It could be FBI Nunzio in a heartbeat here, so you could always do that if you really wanted to. This is probably Nunzio's rarest figure, I would have to imagine. Uh, don't see this one a whole lot out there in all red. does look really, really good. Of course, he does come with a ladder as an accessory, but a very good-looking Nunzio right there. My favorite Paisan, really, at the end of the day. And this is Series 34 in the Ruthless Aggression line. On the back, we got the big cross sell, the rest of 34. We got some two packs. Let's see what's going on here. Who do we got in Series 34? We got the great Kali, an awesome one. Love that Kali. We got Shelton Benjamin. I always called that going out clubbing Shelton Benjamin. You got Street Gear Chris Jericho. Of course, we got Nunzio. We got Funaki in wrestling gear. Always a really, really good one. That Mickey James is a good one. And then we even got a ring announcer in Lillian Garcia. So you always get a nice breath of fresh air in a lot of these Jacks line. A very uh, different uh, big stars, little stars, announcers, a little bit of everything in these sets. And you go down to a Adrenaline 31, another great set. Rory McAllister, Robbie McAllister, their only figures ever. Very cool to have those. Chuck Palumbo and Michelle McCool, of course, wife of The Undertaker now. That is a very hard-to-get set. Uh, then you get Big Daddy V, Matt Stryker, another fabulous one. I love big figures. The Jax big figure mold, as we always talk about in the classics, was pretty rough, but it worked for a guy like Big Daddy V, so I did like that one. But let's be a punk, and let's get them all, and let's... Open up Nunzio here, and there he is. See you later. Off the ceiling, how about that? You do get the ladder in the back. And funny story about this ladder, and once again, you guys can fact check this. This is actually the ladder Nunzio used to use at his parents' houses. He helped his parents were a little older, especially at this time, and he would help around the house all the time. And this is the actual ladder he used to go to put on the Christmas lights on his parents' house. He would clean their gutters uh, every going into winter time when the fall leaves were falling. He'd clean all the gutters for them. He'd do maintenance around the house. And this ladder was always special. He always carried it around because he was really close with his parents. And this was his ladder. He would be in, you know, Poughkeepsie, New York or something at a house show. His parents would call. He would be there in a second. And that's why he would travel with this ladder. It was a very expensive thing to travel with this ladder. He would get a plane ticket for it. He would send it in the luggage department. You can just imagine the extra cost. But you know what? Nunzio, a guy, good guy. Loves his parents. Loves his parents. There you go. So that's the story of that. Then we get old Nunzio in the plastic prison. There it is. Somebody can fact check that story. I'm pretty sure that's right on, though. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. A little yellowing to the bubble on this one on the backside, but not the front. That's interesting. See you later. Goodbye. Now we get old Nunzio here. My number one Paisan, as I said, and all three of these guys got Fists of Fury. They're playing all the hits with these guys here. Very plain Jane body style. They do got his tattoos here, but he's in all red. He does got Nunzio on the back of his butt there, which is cool in the Italian flag. No stickiness on these knee pads, which I do appreciate. Of course, always love that. But Nunzio looking very, very down in the dumps. I think this is probably taken the day. I believe they had a house show in uh, Vancouver. So that's a pretty far distance from the New York area. He had got there, long flight, lots of delays, all kinds of stuff. His ladder in tow. He had just landed and his dad called and said, we need you back home. We got Christmas lights. We need to get taken down immediately. The Neighborhood Association is just really up in arms. Please take these down. So that's what Nunzio had to do. So he was just so defeated. They said, hey, let me snap your picture for your latest figure. So they snapped this. He immediately got on a plane with his ladder from Vancouver, flew all the way back to New York, then had to do maintenance on his parents' house. I can't write this stuff up. Nobody can make this up. Trust me. Uh, but Nunzio looking really down, looking really depressed. Very sad face on old Nunzio here. That really takes down. I, I feel bad for him. I feel bad looking at this face. 
But besides that, articulation the same as these guys. Everything else, a little bit plain Jane. Obviously, this one didn't set the world on fire at retail or anything like that. But it was still a good figure, especially if you're an ECW fan. You loved yourself some Nunzio. You loved yourself some FBI. And the old little Guido, as he was known, of course, in ECW, as we do know. But very, very cool. If I had to rank these three in order, I think I'm going Kenny Dykstra, number one. A very, very cool-looking figure. Just a good mold to him. Works good. Looks like him. Really, really nice. Then I'm going to go... I gotta go mass over Nunzio. As much as I like Nunzio, I'm gonna go mass with Rey Mysterio. Even if it's not my favorite body type, I'm gonna put him ahead. And then we're gonna go to Nunzio finally right here. It's just the way it goes. This is the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But very fun to open up some Ruthless Aggression figures. They feel so great fresh out of the package. Very nostalgic and very fun. And you guys know I love me some wrestling figures. But what say you guys out there? Can you answer any of those stories? I think they're all correct. I, I just need a little thumbs up for all those. But let me know your thoughts on these three. Any deep thoughts you have on the Ruthless Aggression line, let me know in the comments down below. And then don't forget to give this video the old thumbs up. You made it this far, you might as well. Subscribe to this very YouTube channel. we got videos every single day. And then we got more videos like this one. You'll get really early on Patreon, earlier than traditional YouTube for sure, as these are nice little fun videos we do from time to time, as you guys probably are aware. Uh, but check out the Patreon for bonus content, exclusive content, early access to videos, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. A lot going on over the old Patreon. On channel and then don't forget to follow along on social media sir paul 64 on twitter instagram the underscore kyle underscore peterson so for nunzio for ray mysterio jr and for kenny dykstra i am kyle and i'll see you guys all real soon